Okay, I cleaned up the soldering uh, stuff and I'm back to do the final assembly. I got my guts here all completely uh, soldered together. You'll notice that I uh, took some electrical tape and covered up the connections for the potentiometer. Uh, if you have a metal shell, you're going to want to do that because that's basically the most uh, prone area for creating shorts to the metal shell from the hot signal. And you'll end up with this sort of ground hummy type noise that uh, is not what you want to get out of your mic. You don't really need to worry about any any other place, you know, unless you have some exposed wiring. If you if you soldered two wires together, if you had leads coming out of your mic, you're going to want to insulate those with some electrical tape because anyway a bare wire can uh, make contact with a metal shell, that's uh, that's a potential ground loop and you're going to get hum. Okay. So, the shell we made earlier and uh, uh, off camera I made a little bit of a gasket and I used this uh, this sort of material that's you know vinyl edging for your lawn that I talked about earlier and basically what I did is I cut out a loop like this that's uh, basically exactly the interior diameter of the shell and I just sort of wrapped it together up with some electrical tape so that it make a nice gasket and this little bit I'm basically going to set down inside and it's going to basically make a nice little step for the uh, for the element to sort of sit against down in there. So you can see I, I pre-measured and cut that so I wouldn't be wasting your time on camera. And then basically what I'm going to do is just uh, make it nice and uniform by taking a little bit of electrical tape and going around the inside of this thing right here. Sorry. I'm pulling it towards me off camera. Basically, I'll just get a little length of it there, make it easier on myself. And I'm just sort of coming around the inside with that so I can sort of make a nice little sealed step there. So it's a little bit more difficult to do looking down and keeping it for you on the camera. So anyway, just going to make it nice and round over like that. I need a little length here. You see I'm kind of doing this hurriedly. Normally I'd sort of take my time at it and sort of look down at it. But uh, it doesn't matter too much. Anyway, the gasket is really one of the most important parts of building your own mics. And it's probably a big reason why people think some mic that they made themselves doesn't sound as good. Because what you need to do is separate the part of the mic element that gets sound waves hit onto it from the back. So to set up a pressure differential so you can really sort of drive that element. Uh, you need to keep the sort of back pressure area uh, clear. You don't want any, any sound waves leaking around the edges of the mic because then you're going to get you know, reverberation inside this chamber. The waves are going to bounce off the back, come back and hit the inside of the element. You're going to get a thin tone out of it. So anyway, basically once I get the, uh, the gasket made, I've got it really tight in there because I don't want any leaks and I sort of just shove it as best as I can. There you go. And sort of get it set up in there. Pretty good. Now I purposely let it hang up here a little bit at the lip. So now you can see right there how it looks. Ignore some of the bad tape job. But basically the element is perfectly situated to sit up in there and when I put the lid on it's gonna it's gonna push it back up against that lip we created and it's going to be a pretty good seal. Okay, so now how do I get these things down into there and through the little holes? Well, I have a little trick from that. You can use a pencil, but I have this little pokey tool that I use. Uh, so basically I slip it into the jack like that and it helps me fish the wire all the way in and through the hole and gets it through the other side. And then I sort of just push down on it with my thumb while putting the hardware on and it keeps the jack from moving around. Just a little tip. It, it lets you get the, the nut on nice and tight. Sorry. This is a strange angle to do this from. Kind of doing it backwards. Okay. So I'm just going to get it finger tight like that. And then you got a nice size wrench. I'd use that but I've got these uh, slip joint pliers here and I just sort of give it a couple of twists so it's nice and tight. You don't want to do it over tight so you could crack the jack a little bit. 
and then I sort of get my fingers down in there this part's a little bit more difficult let's see how long it takes, oh there we go and just try and get the potentiometer to poke through the hole and then pull it out and then I basically push it up with my fingers I'm holding it in place while I put the uh, hardware on for that there's the washer and here's the nut and again I get it hand tight and you really want to push hard, you don't want the the insides of the potentiometer to turn too much or you might break your wires off, that's happened to me a couple of times and while pushing again I'm just going to give it a couple of turns with the pliers boom okay so there we are we have the element sort of sitting in there and I give it a nice sort of rotation in there to get the wires situated properly and you can see it's nice and tightly gasketed in there and I've got the lid this is the lid I was working on before what I did is I had some mesh which is from some old computer speakers and I just cut a circle out of it and then basically cut in around the edges so I could bend the tabs down to make it circular and I basically folded them down and fitted inside the old cap remember the old cap looked like this except it said S instead of P on there so I basically I cut this whole part out with tin snips and then folded it down it's not the best job I've done by far on, <laughs> on a mic but it's you know it's passable and here's the big test so we're basically gonna try and fit it over the edge and sort of push down on it it's a nice tight fit because of that gasket and let me see wedge it down in there and there we go mic assembled doesn't look the greatest from the edge I have to work a little bit on it pushing this thing all the way down it's a nice tight fit after I get all that stuff on there but uh, she'll play and uh, so basically right now I'm gonna go plug in this and a couple other mics and show you how it sounds <laughs>